Hello, my name's James. Now, I listen to a lot of audiobooks when I'm travelling, and I used to get so frustrated. When I got to the end of my journey, I'd stop my iPhone playing the, the audiobook, and then sometime later, when I came to re-listen to it, to start again, um, that... I could never remember the track number that I was on, and I could never remember quite how far through the track I was. So that sometimes it would take me a few minutes to actually work out to get back to where I was before I could start enjoying the book again. Um, it turns out that iTunes has a feature built into it that actually makes this really, really easy, and I just didn't know about it. So what it's possible to do with iPhones is to join together all of the tracks in an audio CD into one long track and also get the iPhone or the iPod to remember the position that you last stopped listening to it so that when you start again, you just start exactly where you left off. Um, let me show you how to do this. It's really, really easy. Um, now, first thing, if you've already imported your audiobook into your iTunes, it's actually too late. As far as I can tell, there's no way of doing this once you've actually imported your audiobook. Um, you're probably going to have to delete what you've done and then just re-import the audiobook again using this particular method. So, let me show you. I'm going to put a CD into my CD drive right now. And there we see the import box that comes up. Now, you know, intuitively, you've got this, would you like to import it? And it says yes, no. Well, of course you want to import it. You've just put a CD in, so you would click yes. And that's where I was going wrong. You actually have to press no. So click no. And here we go. This is the CD I want to import to listen to later on my iPhone. Um, what you need to do is to click the very first track in the audiobook. And then on your keyboard, press and hold down the shift key. And now go to the very last track that you want to join together. And then click that last track. And because you put the shift key down, then the iTunes will... Um, will highlight all of the tracks in between. You can let go of the uh, shift key then and then come up here where it says options and click join CD tracks and what will happen is the little line will now come here and join together all of the tracks. Once you've done that you can now import the CDs. Just come up here to import CD. Your usual um, thing will come up asking you how you want to import it. So I'm going to click OK now and because this will take a bit of time I'm going to pause the recording and come back to you as soon as this is done. So just wait for me for a second. OK, there you go. So the tracks have been imported and if we now go into my iPhone's iTunes music collection we'll find uh, 15 minutes French. There you go. It's there. Now you'll see there's just one track and rather than the 25 that we, re we originally imported. If I now right click that track, and this is the important bit, this is what makes you um, makes iTunes remember the position that you were in when you last started uh, stopped listening to it. So I'm going to click Get Info here and if we go to the Options tag, uh, tab um, and then come down here, remember playback, pos playback position, and just tick that, and that will mean that the iPhone, the iPod, will remember where you were. Brilliant, that's that's perfect. Now a couple of things I normally do here as well. Um, I normally click that one, skip when shuffling, because that just makes sure that iTunes doesn't play it. Um, I think it's music and play it um, if you do a, a shuffle of some sort. And I also come here and it says uh, Media Kind, and I click Audiobook there, and click OK, because what that will then do is to move it out of the music uh, collection here, and instead put it into the Books tab. Um, and on your iPhone, uh, phone or iPod, it will have put it into the audiobooks category as well. I hope you found that really useful. It took me ages to work out how to do this, and I really wanted to share it with you. If you're interested in photography at all, I also run a blog about photography, and you'll find a link to it just underneath this video. Um, pop along, have a little look around the blog. There's lots of videos and articles that I've written, and some that uh, other friends and colleagues have written, um, all about photography, and to, uh, it's designed to help you become a better photographer. So I would uh, very much like it if you'd pop along and read through my blog. Um, thanks for listening. hope you found this useful. Um, please press the like button or the share button or make a comment underneath if you found this useful. If there's anything that you need clarifying, again, just make a comment underneath and I'll reply to it as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye.